Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Crete. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite combos that I have come up with for sexy date night fragrances. This can also double as Valentine's Day fragrances or any type of event that you have coming up where you just want to feel sexy and feminine so if that sounds like something that you guys would like to see then definitely continue to watch please don't forget to subscribe to the channel definitely hit that like button if you guys find that you do enjoy the content with no further ado let's get into the video so first up we're just going to go with this combo that i am actually wearing today this combo i have already released and posted on my community tab but just in case you guys aren't already subscribed which i will hope that you would go ahead and do so but if you are not i have posted this before this is the jimmy choo i want you this is one of the perfumes that i will absolutely recommend for this holiday and for date night fragrances so this is jimmy choo i want you forever this is the one that i tend to gravitate more towards even though i do have the original as well they are very similar however this one does vary a bit it kind of steers off in its own direction this one is more of a fruity floral type of fragrance this has more of a sour cherry note in there. It also has moss and vetiver. It has vanilla. Um, also has almond and jasmine in this fragrance. Um, to me, it is very similar or reminiscent of Carolina Good Girl. It has traces of that in there. It doesn't smell exactly like that, but they definitely got some inspiration from that fragrance as well and it's kind of blended in with that cherry you guys i love this fragrance so i absolutely recommend this and what i paired it with was a couple of bath and body works mists I have here dahlia from bath and body works and this has the fragrance notes of velvet dahlia petals crisp pear praline musk and whipped tonka bean and so you guys that to me it just went so good with this, this fragrance. Is very reminiscent to Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. But to me, this does vary a little bit. Um, it's kind of in its own lane, even though if you like that fragrance, you'll probably like this. You guys, these two together are a winning combination by themselves. But if you go ahead, use this, and then you top it off with this new Sweetheart Cherry fragrance that comes from Bath & Body Works as well. You guys, this has the notes of Wild Cherry, Crushed Pistachio, and Whipped Vanilla. You guys, I never picked up the pistachio in this fragrance, but when you add this on top of the already cherry that is in here and the almond that's in here, as well as the Whipped Tonka Bean that's in here and the Praline, you guys... It is the most beautiful cherry, almond, and vanilla combination. I'm telling you, if you have these, I highly recommend that you put these together and see if you like it. But that is my fragrance combo for today. So for this next sexy date night combo, this is Narciso Musk Nora Rose. This fragrance opens up with a blast of bergamot, uh, followed by the plum note. As it starts to dry down, you may get that vanilla deep in that dry down. There is rose as well in this fragrance. I don't really detect the rose, so I wouldn't really worry about that if you're not a rose girly. However, all that is in here does blend well with this fragrance. More than anything, you're definitely going to detect that musk. It is a clean type of musk, but it is mature. So if you're not ready for a mature fragrance, this is not going to be for you. It took me some time for it to grow on me. This fragrance also has pink pepper. You definitely detect that. It does kind of tickle your nose. It also has tuberose in this fragrance, but I don't detect that it's the bubblegummy kind. This fragrance is very beautiful. It is for a special type of woman. This is not for everyone. Everyone is not going to like it. As I stated, I did not like it at first, but it has grown on me. And the way that I have found it to grow on me is because of the combos I've been able to come up with with this fragrance. First one being, just on a simple note, I wanted to bring out more of that vanilla to go with that plum in there. And you can easily pair this with Vanilla 28 if you guys have it. I'm sorry, you guys, for the glare. But yeah, if you guys have it, you can pair that with Vanilla 28. Another combo that I found to go with Must Know Our Rose, Donna Born Aroma Intense. As you guys can see, they're both giving the same dark effect. They're both giving sexy, sensual, beautiful vibes. Like, you guys, like, this is date night. 
<laughs> look at it it's giving day night adding that bourbon vanilla touch to this fragrance um it's a little bit animalic you guys it's just a sexy musky beautiful combination and i highly recommend you guys try those two together this combo i just came up with you guys it's amazing pair this with mancera roses vanille now this is a newbie to my collection i haven't even brought it to my channel but now you guys see it um i recently purchased this this is a very nice rose and vanilla fragrance i mean it has some italian lemon turkish rose vanilla white musk and cedar but you guys ultimately all i detect is the rose and vanilla and it's not like a really mature rose it's just a really nice jammy rose and vanilla fragrance and since this to me was not very sweet more of just like a musky strong not overpowering but it's just a polarizing scent in my opinion when you put this up with this for a sweet lover like me, this was a perfect combination. So if you tend to like some of my combinations and you like the things that I like, you have the same preferences, you may like these two together. So I recommend that you guys try that out. And that was Must Know Our Rose and Roses Vanille. Next up, you guys, I have this fragrance here. This is Body Aoud by La Tafa. I typically call it Sublime. Just recently added to my collection. This is a Arabic fragrance that I have taken a liking to. Some um, of the notes include apple, lychee, rose, plum, jasmine, vanilla, moss, and patchouli. And this fragrance here is said to be similar to the Kayali Eden Juicy Apple. And I concur. I think it is similar, but... All in all, it's just a really pretty sweet apple scent. Really do like this fragrance. And I decided to pair it with another fragrance that I have been kind of struggling with, Jimmy Choo's Fever. And I know this has a cult following. A lot of people really love this fragrance. This fragrance has notes such as plum and lychee. I believe it has grapefruit in there, some vanilla, um, heliotrope. It may have moss in there, uh, sandalwood, um, as well as hazelnut i believe is in there you guys it has a plethora plethora of notes and honestly you know when i smell it like this it really does smell so good but for some reason i never pull for this fragrance but i am trying to find ways to really use it i don't want to give it away i really just want to try and use it up so i paired these two together and man they both have that touchy note in there that's really what made me want to put these together and you guys they make a perfect pair if you have these two definitely try them out and if you don't and you have kaylee's eating juicy apple maybe try those two together but yeah you guys i really enjoy these fragrances i say you should pair them together next combo up is really not new to me but for some of my new subscribers this may be new to you guys so this is a tried and true combo that i have put together and worn several times it's just a really nice sweet sexy combo this isn't your typical day night fragrance but this is just for those of you who really just like to be sweet and sexy like like a really sweet fragrance so this first one i'm gonna bring up to you guys i've already had this is beyond romance by ralph lauren if you guys don't know this is a like fruity floral type of scent it has raspberry as well as rose de mai lily of the valley cashmere in the base uh, has some vanilla jasmine as well white musk in the base this is just a really really nice sweet fragrance um i would say for someone who likes like a pink sugar or very sweet fragrances such as that, maybe not exactly pink sugar, but if you like a fragrance that is sweet like that to that level, um, but maybe a little more elevated, then you'll definitely like this. Um, it's just a really pretty, sweet raspberry floral fragrance. Pairing it with Raina. So just to be clear, I just got Raina only as of recent, like within the last month. However, I always did pair this with Ensemble Gold, which is a dupe for Oriana. This is also a dupe, as I'm sure you can tell, for Oriana as well. And so I just interchanged the two. So if you have Ensemble Gold and you don't have this, then absolutely you could put this in its place. But these two together smell so good. This literally, I believe, has the same notes of Oriana. Um, this has an opening of bergamot and grapefruit. In the mid, it has 
black currant and whipped cream and then it dries down into this really pretty fluffy marshmallow and musky scent you guys if you like sweet bombs like if you like a very sweet fluffy cloud like fragrance then you'll like these two together but you absolutely have to like sweet fragrances or you will not like this reina by maison alhambra if i did not already say that and then this is beyond romance by ralph Lauren. and while i'm on the subject of reina we'll go ahead and add her into one other combo that i have i don't have the fragrance right here beside me i don't know i must have misplaced it but absolutely would recommend that you guys pair this if you have it with Donna Born and Roma the intent or the original whichever one you lean more towards but I promise you they will go very good together if you guys happen to like that fragrance Valentino Donna pink pee pee or you were not able to get your hands on that if you pair those two together I promise you it gets you really close in that ballpark of that fragrance so that's a good way if you like that fragrance and that seems like something that you want to smell like on a date night then I recommend you put those two together this next combo is absolutely tried and true I have wore this on more than one occasion and gotten extreme compliments so this is going to be this Burberry Her and I know I have the small one you guys I've told my subscribers already but I did have this fragrance prior I went ahead and decluttered it and gave it to a girlfriend of mine on her birthday she liked it she wanted it I just let her have it <laughs> and so I did keep this just for reference as well as so that I can compare it when the time comes to another fragrance but yeah is this is Burberry Her the original you know strawberry uh, raspberry blackberry in the opening it has some violet in there some jasmine i believe that you do not detect or at least i don't moss in the base as well as vanilla and some woody notes you guys this i don't really care for on its own i'm just one of those people who don't really care for this dna by itself it's reminiscent to me of another fragrance i don't really care for however if i pair this with this daisy love oh so sweet i promise you it gives the most feminine gorgeous scent bubble and combination i'm telling you these two together and they share some of the same notes this particular fragrance the daisy love oh so sweet it has bergamot raspberry and blackberry as well this also has jasmine it has sugar in the notes so you know it's sweet has some musk and woodsy notes as well so they really do go hand in hand these are a match made in heaven i'm telling you if you have these two definitely try them out together and let me know what you think so next up you guys i have gucci flora this is a scent that i do believe would be nice on a date it might not be so much for a date night but just on a casual date let's say maybe at 4 p.m 5 p.m 6 p.m if you're going on a date maybe daytime date with someone you guys this would be amazing this paired along with the next scent that i'm going to show you this scent has the scent notes of pear blossom red berries italian mandarin gardenia jasmine brown sugar frangipani and patchouli it may seem complex but honestly it's not you detect the red berries and i get some of those sweeter notes i don't really pick up the patchouli so i wouldn't worry about that but it's just a really pretty feminine scent very easy going i decided to pair this with vanilla woods by the seven virtues now this also has pear listed in its notes as well as rose which i do not detect all in all vanilla amber and caramel is just a really pretty sweet vanilla fragrance and i think it just brings out the best of this fragrance so put these two together if you have them and y'all let me know how you like that so you guys this next combination i literally just came up with on a whim just right along with me and we gonna get there together <laughs> I really was trying to create the scent profile of a fragrance that I never was able to get my hands on. I was not into collecting or purchasing fragrances at that time, but I do remember smelling it only once. I wanted to recreate a scent that I felt was similar to 
Tea's Sugar Flare by Victoria's Secret. So tea Sugar Flare had notes in, such as green apple. It also had a bubblegum note as well as caramel. Or what else it had, you guys. But those are the notes that, that stand out to me that I can remember. And I was just trying to find a way to kind of get that scent profile. I'm real good with mixing and trying to figure out ways to get the scent that I want if I don't have it. And so, and just using what I have to get what I want. So this is what I came up with. So first off, you guys don't know this because I haven't brought it to you yet, but I did go ahead and haul this fragrance that I have been eyeing for some time. This is the Giorgio Armani's My Way. This is the original. This is the one I chose to go with. It seemed like it fit my profile best and I had smelled this before and I didn't want to go blind buying anything else. So yeah, I have Giorgio Armani. This is a predominantly white floral fragrance, heavy on the tuberose, and it is that bubblegummy tuberose, and I have just simply fallen in love with it. It is a gorgeous scent. So what I do is, you guys know, if you're fans of my channel, then I do love me a perfume oil. So what I found, I noticed that people were saying that the sugar flare was kind of similar to Kay Ali's Juicy Apple. Well, I have that sublime so I wanted to like maybe try to use that in place of it so what I found was that sublime definitely is giving off a red apple whereas I was trying to get more of a green apple so what I did I have a oil from wholesale body oils it's just a cheap little oil this is my country apple oil you guys sorry it's all beat up but i use my stuff this is country apple by bath and body works if you guys know that is a red apple however in this oil i detect green even though it's a red apple it comes across like a tart sour type of apple which is what i wanted so i have that green apple here so i start off with this and then i go in with a couple of splashes of my way so i can get that bubblegum effect stay with me <laughs> in order to get that caramel fragrance that i'm really trying to get i went in with juicy couture's gold couture this is what i use anytime i want caramel don't fret if you don't have this fragrance i would say to swap this out for prada candy if you have it either one will work because i've tried it either way you guys these two together with this now this is necessary if you guys have kaoli juicy apple then you could try it with that and if you have sublime you can try it with that but y'all really need this if you fans on my channel i'm trying to tell you if you like an apple you need this i use this so much with different fragrances but you guys all of these together bomb combo and i'm telling you you're gonna smell unique because who's smelling like you come on no nobody's smelling like you yes <laughs> i love this combo you can absolutely use these i know it seems like a lot but you know what i'm saying this is date night you know we, we're trying to make an impression <laughs> love those and i'll definitely insert a picture as well just to make it a little bit now i am down to my last two fragrances and i must say these are not combos but i mean you could put them together if you want to but to be honest i just wanted to show you these as they are instead of doing single fragrances i didn't want to do that because i have come up with so many nice combos that i think you guys could benefit from but with these two these are just staples and they are just they're bomb all by themselves. So first things first, I want to show this one. This is just Kayali's Vanilla 28. You know, it's not remarkable to me. It's not head over heels. It's not go crazy. But for someone who doesn't want all of that, because I understand that everybody does not want that. Some people just want to smell good. Some people just want to be simply smelling good. Well, if that's you, babe, I say this K. Ali Vanilla 28 will definitely do it for you. It's more of a floral vanilla to me. It's a little more mature, so it's not on a super, super sweet side. It's not like tonic or anything like that. It's just a really nice vanilla fragrance, brown sugary type of vanilla. Um, I really think someone would like this who likes to keep it simple. We can't talk about date night fragrances if we're not going to talk about this. Because for me, when I want to be a showstopper, anytime I want to enter the room and I need my fragrance coming in with me, beside me, holding my hand, wrapped all around me, I'm pulling out this. My YSL Lib Le Parfum, you guys, hands down, we could do the combos all day. But you don't even have to combo with this. Like, I usually layer this with the original YSL Lib 
the EDP, but even if you were to just wear it by itself, you guys, it's just so damn good. Like, it's just so good. But I know it has the ginger, the orange blossom, the lavender, the vanilla. Also has honey in there. You guys, when I tell you this is a head turner, this is a neck breaker. You hear me? Like, you guys, when in doubt, I'm going for this. For the longest, I could not steer myself away from grabbing this. And I know you're thinking like, girl, you barely got a dent. I had a sample first, number one. <laughs> and number two, you don't need a lot. This is a polarizing fragrance and this is beast mode. You do not need to go ham on this fragrance. You do you a couple of sprays where you need to get it and you go. You straight. <laughs> you don't even have to touch up. But if you want to, I mean, you can. But like I said, I used to layer this. So there's no need for me to be making a huge dent in this because first of all, I don't go out the house that much. But that's another story for another video. You guys, trust me when I tell you. If you in doubt and you're not sure about the layering combos, you need you just a good scent to go with. Okay. Guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these combos. If you guys want to see more uploads from me, then definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video if you enjoyed the content. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Happy Valentine's.